Hi, and welcome to All Points Fasteners Gutter Screw Product Training Video. Gutter Strap Screws. This screw is manufactured specifically for the gutter industry. The most common length the gutter industry uses is an inch and a half to install the gutter straps. Some ask for a little longer based on the type of gutter work they are doing, but if you ask the buyer if they are using an inch and a half length, they will probably say yes. The gutter industry uses these to strap the gutter straps to the homes or businesses. Old school versus new school. The gutter industry used to use the number eight shank screw with the quarter inch hex head uh, by inch and a half um, for these gutter straps. Then over the years when the quality of the wood um, started not being as good as it was, a lot of knots, that type of thing, um, they started having problems with these screws because the heads would start popping off when they were trying to put them into the wood. Uh, so what we came up with was a number 10 screw, the one that you see on your right, um, which ended up being stronger um, than the number eights. Um, also put a little fillet, which is that funnel, that smooth funnel shape that you see circled there on the right. We call it a fillet. Put the fillet under the, the head. That gave it a little bit thicker, um, more thickness right underneath the head where it needed to be where a lot of the weight from the gutters lands and also provides um, stability and strength. This is what I was referring to when I was talking about the number eight shank then changing to a number 10. Think of it like dress sizes. The number 10 is just a little larger than the number eight. Um, it adds strength and stability um, to the screw. The number eight, if you want to get specific, is 0.164 uh, diameter um, of the thickness of the screw. And the number 10 is 0.190. This is an image of the standard head versus the high profile head that we put on our screws. Um, the standard head is standard throughout all the normal sheet metal screws that you'll find um, at your local Home Depot or whatever. Um, the high profile heads have 22% more metal in them. They're designed to make them more stable in the chucks, the hex chucks that the guys use. Um, they will stay better inside the drills and the magnet can really attach itself to that high profile head. These screws are needlepoint screws, sometimes called self-piercing screws, uh, sometimes called zip screws. Um, they're self-piercing because you can put pressure on the screw and they will pierce into the metal with any kind of, uh, you don't need any kind of pre-drilling. And that's what makes these things really awesome. Uh, they have a double thread. You can read in here why it needs this twin fast thread. It helps it to engage quicker and to drive the screw through the metals uh, a lot easier than just a single threaded uh, screw would. Okay, well, you have three different options, basically, uh, for the needlepoint version of the gutter strap screws. Uh, the one on the left is the standard. You're going to find that most people use these. Uh, they're a really good screw. When we came up with them, very few people had them. Uh, they have been copied, uh, which means sometimes you'll go into a little bit of a price war with them. Uh, but we still sell probably the most of them, and it's a really good screw. For areas that aren't in an area where there would be a lot of rain, a lot of moisture, you know, all the Western states, although they're used nationwide. The second screw in the middle is a ceramic coated screw. So it's still carbon 
steel, so it's magnetized. It still has that strength of the carbon steel. However, carbon steel will rust. The zinc plated screw on the left has some rust resistance, uh, but again, that's just some rust resistance. The ceramic coated screw in the middle is really awesome because it gives up to 1200, uh, 1000 to 1200 um, salt spray protection hours. And it's a really good upgrade for anyone that you have um, in an area where it's moist, maybe down in Florida, you know, where it rains, um, where if you want to talk to somebody about the quality of their screws and they're looking for something with a little bit more quality, that would be the screw for them. The one on the far right are for those contractors who are really high end. They're doing really quality work. They want to make sure that their stuff doesn't rust. They have warranties. Those are 410 stainless. Uh, 410 stainless has a little bit of carbon steel in it to make it um, stronger than just plain stainless. Um, because of this, there's also a ceramic coating on the screw. Uh, this is so the surface rust that happens uh, because of the carbon steel in these screws, the ceramic coating will help protect from that so it'll still uh, look nice. The 18.8 or 310 pure stainless screws, which are also available, um, are really nice. They won't have any surface rust, but they are softer metal than the 410 stainless. The points won't pierce as nicely as the 410 stainless and the carbon steel counterparts will. These are the two different options for the ceramic that you'll see. Um, there is the white ceramic that you see on your left. Um, these are only available in limited sizes. Uh, the one nice thing about the white ceramic is that if you're looking for a customer that also wants the heads painted white, these are already done. They don't have to be sent to the painters. The silver ceramic on the right, uh, much more um far more uh sizes available and it's painted silver uh so it'll match a little bit more like the zinc is it's not shiny like the zinc but it has a really nice ceramic coating these are your choices for the more high-end type 17 gutter strap screws these are beautiful screws for contractors that are concerned with the quality of their work or perhaps they're having problems with the lower end screws, um, screws breaking, pulling out, not um, piercing and going um, and starting as quickly as they want them to. So these are a wonderful upsell. Uh, the one on the left is a type 17 high low thread ceramic. Um, you won't be able to see it very well on this slide, but it'll be on another slide. That point at the end comes to a sharp point, but it has a gash or a cut at the end of it. Um, I'll show you later on the next slide uh, what that's for. The high-low threads help with the screw to grip better into the wood so it doesn't pull out. It also helps the screw to uh, drill faster into the wood. It has a wide number 10 uh, washer attached to it, as do all the uh, screws, to be honest. Um, it also has the fillet under the head, just like the previous screws, um, and the ceramic coating for additional rust resistance. Um, this screw is not offered in anything except the silver ceramic, so you can't offer it with a zinc plating on the West Coast, for instance. So if you're going to go if you're going to go big, go big. This has all the bells and whistles on it. The middle screw is um, another Type 17. It does not have the um, high-low thread. It has the just standard twin fast thread. Um, and then it also has a bonded washer under it. That's the uh, metal washer that you see, plus the little black rubber washer. Uh, some people call these grommets, other people call them gaskets, but really what they do is that as the screw drills in, it's of course creating a hole and then this uh, washer goes over the top of that and seals it.
which reminds me, it's also called a ceiling washer. Um, these are really nice screws to have. We will probably be discontinuing these after we sell out because we are switching over to the one you see on the right, which is the uh, screw with a high low thread and the type 17 with the addition of the bonded washer. So the one on the right is the one that we will be switching all the sizes to, uh, but we're not quite there yet. So for right now, you have all three of these to offer. This is a better picture of that type 17 point that I promised you. You can see that groove uh, that is right there at the point. What is, that's designed for is that these screws are going to be going into wood. So as the screw is drilling into the wood, there's wood being displaced. So the wood that's being displaced, that's getting moved out of the way, can escape through that hole. And so it goes, it goes sliding up that groove and comes out the hole that you're drilling the screw into, and it keeps the wood from splitting. What it also does, it also helps um, the screw uh, penetrate the wood quicker, you know, get started quicker, and um, it's just a much better uh, point than even the needle point screw that we have on the lower end screws. I would love if all of my customers bought this screw right here. Copper gutters, the most beautiful high-end gutter you will ever see. Every single guy that you talk to, you want to ask him if he does copper gutters because you are going to want to show them these screws. Most companies do not have these screws. We have very little competition on them. We were the original ones that brought them in. I can think of maybe one other company that has them. Um, and the problem with gutter, uh, gutters that are made from copper is that there's a certain um, reaction of metals uh, that will happen if you use your standard carbon, carbon steel screws with the copper. Uh, it starts eating away at each other. So you really don't want to do that. So what most people have an option for are the stainless steel screws that you see on the left. That's the 300 series stainless. So um, it has all the descriptions, the bells and whistles of everything on the other screws. You'll notice, though, that there is no fillet on these screws, although they have the number, um, the, the quarter inch high profile head still, but not the fillet. Um, they're called a 300 series stainless or an 18.8 stainless, um, which means it's a little bit softer than your standard, you know, um, the 410 stainless we were talking about. But what's nice about these is when these guys use it in the copper, you don't get that reaction that you get um, if you put in carbon steel screws. So this is what they use, but you can see it doesn't look like copper. So it's not very pretty, I don't think. And uh, this is probably in areas where they're kind of hidden away. I would think that they probably uh, paint the heads copper um, after they install on anything that might show, but I don't sell these really to the copper guys, but there are guys that will want them. Uh, the one in the middle is a screw that I love selling. It's the stainless steel. It's actually that screw that you see on the left, but then they're also copper plated so that they will match um, the copper gutters. Usually the guys will buy the 410 stainless. That means that there is a little bit of carbon steel to make the screw stronger. Um, but that carbon steel will give surface rust. Now that it's copper plated, though, it's okay because that surface rust just kind of turns into the same color as the patina that a copper will change. Now copper turns green and everything. So it really just kind of blends in. That's the least expensive way to go for these guys. Um, if they want to buy the copper screws is the 410 copper plated. We do have in limited sizes 18.8 stainless, which means there's absolutely no carbon steel. It is non-magnetic but it's copper plated and um, some guys will want to pay for that. The ones on the right, they're only available in eight by half 
They are pure copper. I've sold them um, off and on, but usually the guys will want to go with the 410 stainless copper plated. Lastly, these are your two options for stainless steel copper plated screws. Um, the 410 or magnetic stainless uh, copper, like I said in the previous slide, is your preferred um, stainless steel copper plated because the guys can use them in their magnetic chucks and they're a little bit stronger because of the, uh, the copper, um, the carbon steel. And then non-magnetic or otherwise known as 18-8 stainless uh, copper plated screws. Um, they're preferred by guys who want absolutely no rust, but they the magnetic chucks um, do not work with them. And uh, they're a little bit softer. Um, the easiest way to decide which part your contractor wants is to ask them, do they want a magnetic or non-magnetic? And there are all the options for your uh, gutter screws. Thank you.